It was silent. And you didn't listen. I saw the look. <laughs> you didn't listen. So are we going live? Okay, but you've been not on top of your head today. Because I'm taller than you today. <laughs> Is that what that was about? You had a very quick response, so you must have been thinking that I was going to say something. No, last week you said that you were taller because you thought your hair, and I'm like, yes, we'll now, fix that. Like, <laughs> look at our shoulders. Well, we're Let me straighten oh, up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, November 2nd. Isn't it? And you, it's hard to believe that, like we're saying, a month from now. Oh, uh, shh. I know. Shh. But I am still wearing my sandals. Oh, yes, I got sandals you are, on too. Today. What about you, Arlene? Do you have yesterday. your sandals on? No. No sandals for Arlene? What? We oh forgot to God. give her the memo. That's our, our fault. I know, but it's like, oh, it is so nice to still be able to wear sandals. But yesterday was gorgeous. It was. And I think today's supposed to be really nice, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, Erica and Colleen. And I saw Allison. Leslie. Mm -hmm. Mary Jane. Your Sally. And Cheryl. Valerie, Wilma, Lori. <laughs> see how fast we can go. Oh, it's so nice to see you all this morning. Oh, there's Gail. Good morning, Gail. And there's Lucy and Linda and Debbie. Star. Yeah, it's just a beautiful morning, and um, we had a retreat this past weekend, and there were a lot of brand new people there. And you, you're always, because you're not sure about the personalities and stuff, because I, I try to match tables to some of that, you know, and friends when I know people know people. And it was just wonderful because people really mixed and they made new friends and people, it was just, it was just a happy vibe for like three days. Okay. And when I feel that, that just feels so good. And I actually got some sewing done. I didn't get my project finished, but you know, I'm, you got it's, some sewing. it's within reason. I'm half, I'm over half done. Well, there you go. So that's quite amazing for me. So maybe we'll have a Cynthia show and tell one of these weeks. Well, maybe. She's not no. committing. Let's see. So yeah, so the gremlins have all been booted from here to tomorrow, <laughs> and we hope they don't come back. So here we are. Yeah, we'll see what we all have today. Let's start with some door prizes. I have a panel. This is a really nice it's panel. It's a panel. And it I has, have, but it has lots of nice things on it. You want to read them? Well, we could read a couple. Now you have it upside down. Your heart and my heart are very old friends. I think that's nice. The loveliest masterpiece of God is the heart of a mother. Some people come into your life as a blessing. I agree there. Shine like the whole universe is yours. I might have to turn this over. May the gratitude in my heart kiss the universe. That's nice. There's nothing on this earth more prized than true friendship. Anyway, when I count my blessings, I count you twice. Oh, Aww. look at that. I knew we were going to get all sappy. You did? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm a sentimental fool. I really am. No, I don't say it. I'm but I am, very, I am very sentimental. And, Not a fool. And mushy. Uh, that's just me. And what else do we have? All right, we have uh, these fat quarters. I think there's eight I counted. They've got little beehives, and they say sweet bee, honey bee, sweet as can be. And then I also have a modern quilts book. So make a comment, and then we'll uh, maybe draw your name. So what do we have today? Yep, I see there's Dr. Tuckwit Yarley. You just need to speak up more, because they know you're there. <laughs> and we're glad you're there. <laughs> so, what do we have today? Should we um, should we maybe show some of our show and tell stuff? Sure. Let's, let's start let's, with show and tell. Yeah. We'll Look at this. This is Bonnie Love, right? And yes. her sister. Norma Jean. And look at this beautiful quilt. The colors were really amazing. Mm-hmm. They had a lot of fun together. Yeah, they do have a lot of fun together. And that's another one, a scrappy one. Yeah, lots of colors, and it just bounces your eyes around. And then that one is Heather, and she didn't want to peek out. Heather Campbell. 
We oh, outed you, Heather. Yeah. We know you're behind there. <laughs> <laughs> I was lovely... wondering who was behind yeah. that quilt. I think she thought her hair wasn't done or something. Yeah, she's such a pretty lady. She doesn't have to worry about it. There's Wendy Del Rupo. Good morning, Wendy. So that was her Tilda quilt. And there's our Louise with her One Block Wonder. And she was working at this one on the September retreat. Yeah, so she finished and, it. Yeah, isn't that cool? Because she put the panel that she used in the middle of the quilt so you could see what she made it out of. She had a lot of fun with that. And there's Teresa McFay. Oh. Her little uh, falling charms with the little dogs. dogs. Yeah. yeah, it was really, really cute. Teresa's such a nice lady too. And here are three. I, we have we posted our retreat pictures. I posted them last night on our, our Facebook. But three of the ladies decided to get dressed up and they, they came down and surprised us with these comments. <laughs> so from left we have Leslie Taylor and we have Lynn Stewart and Janet Bordeaux. And they're from the Stony Creek area. Oh, fun. And their hats, it just doesn't that picture doesn't do them justice for all the, the stuff on the hats. And Janet's got the striped stockings. They just they just were having lots of fun. So and then we had these special girls visit us. And I thought this was so cute. These are six sisters and two of them are twins and it was the twins' birthday. So they were spending a couple of days at the Elmhurst and they were having spa treatments and room service and they were just having mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And I thought these are the Van Art sisters. And they're from, um, I think, just maybe northwest of Strathroy area. But I just thought, how lovely that six sisters love each other so much as adults to get together. And they were just having fun and being together. And the one sister came all the way from Ottawa so to be with her for... sisters. Yeah. And I, so they were curious as to what's going on in a few of themselves. So <coughs> they came in and checked out what was going on. So we just had to take their picture because it was, just, fun. it was just happy. Yeah. And we love seeing happy like that. And I think as parents, we all hope our children will love each other as they become adults, you know, Definitely. and stay close. <coughs> and this is the um, Zebra Fandango class that we had on Saturday with Sue. And these are uh, there's Sue Slade and uh, Kathy Pelizzari with yeah. their blocks, they have paper piecing, and they had a they lot of fun. Did, they did. They did a really good job. They got uh, they made some really good progress. And there is. Uh, Karen Schultz and Amanda Pasma. They're all going to be different. And there's Mary Weber with hers. And then she's being <laughs> silly, like with her teeth for Halloween. So they had a good time. And they were working away. Mm -hmm. Came downstairs a few times and it was pretty quiet. Yeah. And do we have anything else to show? Just the so steady table. Why don't we do that just so we don't forget to go back to them? Because there's a promotion on the So Steady Tables. We'd sent this out. So with this one here, this is the Wish Table. And it is, uh, it's got beveled edges. And it comes, um, that one, that size is, sorry, right here. 22 and a half by 25. And it comes with a, a big bag, a six pocket bag carrying case. And a polish kit so that your fabric will slide easy. We it's three hundred and sixty dollars, so you're saving about a hundred dollars on it, and we need to have orders be by December twentieth or so. Um, so it's on for a bit. So we need the make and model of your machine and a hundred dollar deposit, and then they also have another one which is the bag and polish kit for just a large table. But we just she just flipped by that one large table, and it's eighteen by twenty four, and it's two hundred and seventy five dollars. They're all made uh, to order to fit your machine, so uh, and then they're made of acrylic. So I love them because it gives me extra sewing space. So then I won't forget to go back to that. Thanks, Evelyn. Okay. All right. So what do we got? What do we got? We have one last the best of block book by uh, Jenny Doan. It's twenty eight. So if you we're wanting one and you thought we didn't have any more, we have one last one. So you can like let me know if you want it. And we're going to go through some one-ups. And then we have one last kit of the camper bag. And then Arlene did up the picnic bag with the 
pockets on the inside to, you know, hold your plates. It sounds like wine there's, bottle in oh there. I said, it yeah. sounds like there's something in it. There's cutlery. There were, so there were a few wine pockets. bottles, I must say, at the retreat. Were there? <laughs> yes, there were. So that kit, there's one left and it's 39. So you've got your uh, feasible fleece in there and everything to make your bag and the instructions. You know, it's 39. It's the last one. Why don't we make it 32 All for right. the last one? 32. 30, 32 and it will be gone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We do what up? Did we have any other one ups? Um, no. I think okay. that was. You know, we're just moseying on to what's new. Okay. Or what we have. So we have these pin cushion kits. They're twenty five. They're wool, so you get either the little house or the little bird with the tree. And everything is in the little kit: the walnut shells, all the wool, the muslin. So everything's in there. You just have to yeah, use so you your make friend. a little muslin bag to put your walnut shells in. And the good thing about walnut shells, when you put your pins in, it sharpens your pins. Yeah. So those are twenty-five. So it's a sweet little gift. Mm -hmm. And it's wool in the back. Yep. And now all of it's wool. So Angelique has been doing those, and she's been enjoying that. Yeah. So we thank Angelique for those. Let me get some new books. This is a beautiful new book okay. called Birds in Toyland. And, um, you know, you could do you could do whatever pieces you wanted out of this. I'm just looking for some. But it's a beautiful quilt. Yeah, there you are. The blocks. Yeah. So I was looking through it a little bit so you can do your own kind of borders. And Somebody had one at a couple of retreats ago and Gladys went, oh! I have to have that. <laughs> and I went, oh, I meant to order it because I had seen it in the, one of the magazines. But lots that you could do with this. Just oh, very cute. cute. And you know, you could, it doesn't have to be Christmas because you could do a lot of those birds and do them, um, you know, in different colors. Well, I saw you know, birdhouses, so you could do it spring like. Sure. And this, these don't have to be, you know, they don't have to be red poinsettias. You could make them whatever. So that one's really nice. And then we have. The Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts, the Fabric, the fabric Cafe, and we also have some Christmas Three Yard Kits that we post. So this is the Magic of Three Yard Quilts. We've got some interesting patterns, we were looking at them yesterday. The Three Yard Quilt Favorites, probably an older one. And then Quick and Easy. Three yard quilts is back in stock too. And so we pulled some Christmas just to kind of show you. Uh, where was that Christmas one? But you know, you this could one. use any yeah, of them. Any of them, but you know, this one that they uh, kind of did a focus on Christmas. Yeah, let's go this way. So there's the blue variation and silver with the metallic. It's been really pretty with the poinsettia. And look how pretty this one is. And then there's also a little bit of a more traditional. And this has got the little, these are little Christmas trees, little green and red Christmas trees on that white tone on tone. Yeah. And then look at this other fun one that they we put together. The whimsy one, yeah. Yeah, we got to do something that's just a little extra fun. I think Karen was picking this one. She had fun picking this one. Karen? Arlene's daughter. Oh, Karen. Awesome. Those are just some ideas if you're still thinking about a quick little Christmas quilt. And you know, if you see one of these and you say, I'd like that one, just let us know because, you know, we can we can do that for you. Okay. So the three yard kits, including the pattern, are $55. I $55. Yeah. Yep. And that would be a loose pattern. It wouldn't be the pattern book. They're on their own. And then we have, look at how cute this is. These are gnomes, Christmas little gnome ornaments that you would do. And the kit has absolutely everything, including the needle, to do it. There's your felt and your threads and your little gold um, hangers, thread to hang it with. Those are twenty nine ninety five. That'd be a nice little hand project if you're driving in the car this time of year, or you've got appointments. And Nicole sent me a, an email last night. She said, "You have to help me with my stitches. My she's she's trying to do some hand work." She said, my stitches are ugly. And I said, oh, we'll work on those. I bet they're not as ugly as she thinks. Our diagonal seam tape is back in stock. Yep, we've been waiting for that. It's very popular. It's 10.50. I know I love mine. 
What's the middle of the fabric in the last kit you showed? Oh, the whimsy one. Um, what was in the middle? Um, blossom. A, blo a red blossom? Yeah, the white the blossom. Okay. And at not this retreat, but the retreat before, which would have been October 15th, somebody left. This would have go gone with their... Um, Oh, it's a little pin cushion and it would go with their little fabric scrap thing that they okay. would have by their machine. So if you left this behind, because it's got the Velcro on it, we have this and you could, you know, let us know because we did pick it up after the retreat. So if it's yours, we still have it for you. Okay. Um, what shall we show? Can we do that? <coughs> we have to show you... Um, one of our customers had brought this to our attention, but it's just wonderful. This is <coughs> the Quilter Select Ruler. And I have to warn you, they're really pricey. However, what you save in fabric will pay for your ruler. Because this ruler... Once you put it down, it doesn't... It does move. not slide. So if you're doing stratas or anything that you're doing, you can put that down. You're doing strips, you know, it's just... Cut away. It's good if you have a sharp blade, though. <laughs> what? We're in a quilt shop and we don't have sharp blades? <laughs> well, let me get another one here. And then you cut, Tammy. Here, I'll get you. You know, we got to have bloopers. Maybe we need to have muscle into it. Here. I think but just it's show. Just, it's just bloopers. Yeah, let's just show. Got to make them laugh. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. But just show how it doesn't move. Yeah, see? It's and see, so, yeah, we would never cut without that gypsy gripper because we're not going to have any little precious fingers cut. See? It's perfect. What do you call it? No wings on top? Or the, the things? You know how when sometimes it veers it, off? It waves. The waves, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so if you're having some issues with your ruler sliding because, you know, especially when you're doing strips, this type of ruler is not going to move. It has, when you touch it, it's almost like a rubberized coating. It's kind of hard to know. But, but it's it the best really I've sticks. ever come across. You know? Yeah. I've never come across one like that. So I'm switching. So I know some of the girls when we demoed at the retreat were switching too. So this ruler that we were just using is seventy six sixty nine, and then there's some other and sizes. And this one is um, this one is six by twenty four. Six and a half by twenty four. Six and a half by twenty four. Then there is the eight and a half by twelve. Is fifty six seventy nine. And then there's a six by twelve. And and Michelle Benson is saying that ruler is worth every penny. Those who have them. We'll tell you that, yeah. Forty six eighty nine. And then I also have an eight and a half by twenty four, which is a hundred and two twenty nine. So this might be something that you put on your Christmas list. But you know, come in and ask us about it because we're using it at the cutting table and we're happy to show you and let you feel how that just does not slide. It is just amazing. So these are quilter select. It's uh, Alex Anderson is uh, behind this one. That uh, it has developed. And when did you show have this a square? I don't oh, I have is. a six and a half by six and a half, which is thirty six ninety. So it's a good little um, uh, trimming or mm -hmm. fussy cutting, you know. Yeah, because it's not going to move as you turn it around. Well, well, this is moving because we have the plastic still on, but that's it. Won't. Yeah. Yeah. So Judith Greenhouse is saying, yeah, she loves her eight and a half by twenty four and uses it all the time. Coming up is going to be Remembrance Day. Oh, watch your coffee. Oh, yeah, but I guess watch my Tammy here. So, we do not decorate for Christmas in the store. I mean, we don't do our Christmas decorations um, and put our tree up until after Remembrance Day, but then we do after Remembrance Day. But this is, this is yes, yeah, you can read it. This is just beautiful. It says, um, we put it on a hanger, which you can see here, and then maybe we'll hold it up higher. I can't hold things straight. Oh my goodness, Cynthia. Yeah. And then there's, it's double sided because there's two panels on the one panel. So you could, you know, you can do two things. We thought this, we were hanging this in our window in the store. But how much is this panel? 17. Yeah. So it has the, the two on it. And um, that's our wedding anniversary day, too. We were married on Remembrance Day. I do remember. So Bill won't forget, but really it's because it was around month then because he was an, an accountant and uh, you can't. But this is just very, very nice and 
we always try to have something up to remember because um, I'm sure that there's many of you that have had grandparents and some of you that had parents that served. I know mm -hmm. my dad was um, in the Air Force, but there's many and you know, we don't ever want to forget or take for granted all these wonderful freedoms we have that, that they fought for. Mm -hmm. so. And well, we also have some other Remembrance Day things. So there's a wild poppy panel that's 12. There's, I believe there's six little blocks on there. And then that is the soldier poppy panel. That's 16, I said 17, but that's 16. And then we have some beautiful poppy fabrics. That one's a timeless treasure, and then there's this uh, Northcott one from the Ooh La La line. And these are 16 a yard. What color are Quilter Select mats? Are they gray? Uh, they might be, because they're good mats too, and we have some of those that have had them. We've had them, I don't think we have any right now. Yeah, there's more coming. Yeah, and they're very good mats too, because they have, they're dark on one side and light on the other for when you're cutting things. Okay. So it's a great combination. Oh, somebody's birthday is November 11th, in case you missed the memo. Who's that? Oh, Marnie. Oh, it's Rhonda. Marna. Oh, Marnie. Thanks you for letting us know we got the memo now. So what do you have on your side, Miss Tammy? All right. Well, here, can I give you this? Absolutely. You can. Let's do that. Well, last week we got this kit in. It's called Country Strolling. It's with a beautiful deer panel in the center, and then you've got some trees and things around, some flying geese. And I'll show you some of the yardage, but that kit is 105. And how big is it? Oh yeah, this is what we I forgot to add. Let's uh, look at that, because we got the, we had ordered the patterns. Yeah, remember me saying? I thought I was so pleased with myself. I got it all pretty and everything, and then Cynthia, <laughs> she's like, well, how big is it? Well, it is... 64 by 57. And so there's the deer. Arlene is over there giggling. She's covering her <laughs> mouth, trying not to laugh out loud at you. And she's just quietly snickering over there today. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But it's really a pretty line of fabrics. This is by Northcott. Did we say that? No. I think it's called White Tail Woods. So there's the brown. There's the birch tree. And anybody doing landscape or anything else, okay, season, look at that nice sky. Get rid of the green mat. Yeah. It throws the colors off. It does throw the colors off. Right. Yeah, I think we were doing it for a long there. Way. That's better. Thank you. <laughs> and there's, we were joking that this is like the 70s paneling, but much better. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is really cool, the trees. i got to open this a little bit. So, for people who love trees... It's oh, a really I, great I can, one. You know, wave that a little bit more because it just, you can just feel it. You know, <laughs> November you day. <laughs> you know, it's just, you did this and I just kind of went, oh yeah, I can feel it. Are, are we making you guys dizzy and seasick over there? <laughs> Good morning, Danny. So there's that there's from that traffic. line. Yeah, very nice. And the, um, the deer panel itself, the deer is very realistic looking. And we put that all in the panels so we don't... Oh, look what I found. Oh, we put some more three-yard kits. Well, let's show them. <laughs> wow. I, you can tell we didn't do this last week? We had all kinds of things set ready, up and ready yeah. for you. So there, sorry, now I'm really making people sick. There's your uh, snowman, a little whimsy snowman with the little buttons on the white. And then the teal. The crackle teal. Yeah. You that can that see fun. that against that. It seemed like it kind of faded there, but... You know, it really picks up with the scarf yeah, and the snowman. In the stripe. Mm -hmm. And then there's the ornaments. And then we thought this was fun with the little dogs. With the little lights around there. There's a three yard with the red blossom. White blossom with the red, I guess. Because red would be like red. Oh, with yes. The white. You're right. I guess. I'm just giving you a hard time, Tammy. Why not? Get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Own it. Just own it. That's Arlene. Arlene is, is that's one of her expressions. Just, Just own, own it. it. <laughs> and there's the poinsettias with the metallic. And then there's a blossom with Christmas colors. With <laughs> white <and> background. <laughs> and then a dit dot green. Yeah, they look good together. 
You know, I didn't tell you my joke. What's your when joke? When we were doing the rulers. <laughs> I want you and me able to do it. It's gonna, the question was, so have you heard about the 12-inch ruler? Okay. Quilting rulers. Have you heard about them? No. They don't make them any longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she practiced that on me yesterday. <laughs> yeah, then she just threw that fabric on the floor. Look how flustered red she is. Oh my goodness. You didn't really laugh. <laughs> Anyway, well, I'm just kind of looking at you like, okay, is there Arlene, more? let's look okay. down here. <laughs> no, they don't make them anymore. Okay. There's All another right. Christmas one. Anybody else laughing out there? Yep. Oh, dear. Yeah. It's bad when you Good think joke. it's funny. Good joke, yep. See, see, people are liking it. Anyway. <laughs> She's still there. If we flash the camera up No, quickly. we're not Oh, flashing. yes, look, look, flash the camera back up. No. Look, quickly, look at the just Christmas. Just quickly, come on, Arlene. <laughs> I gotta do what my boss tells me to do. <laughs> really? Okay, now we can go back. No. <laughs> We're giving dad jokes. They're not dad jokes. They're mom jokes. Who <laughs> like, said that they're giving us dad jokes? I don't know. But I do do them on my girls and they roll their eyes and I have fun. So. Yeah, that's good. Okay, did we talk about this one? No. Leanne says very funny, Tammy. <laughs> she likes your mom joke. <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. I can count on you. <laughs> So this one's cute with the little whimsy, the, the little nutcracker. Sometimes people are looking for a little nutcracker and stuff. Yeah, my son has, has quite a collection. He fell in love with them when he was little. But like there's gingerbread man and there's a little gnome here. Or maybe he's an elf. Probably a gnome. And look at this nice white swirly one. Yeah, that would almost looks like snow Weedy. with that. That'd yeah. be fun. Yeah, that's very nice. And so then we'll transition into um, tone on tone whites. This is a paper white line from Northcott. He's looking for some low volume whites to mm -hmm. add into backgrounds. This is butterflies on that one. It almost, almost has that shadow effect. This is just. You know, for white tone on tones, this is just this would just be a gorgeous quilt with some just pop, a pop color. Is that succulent? It, yeah, it's succulents, just white. Oh, it's yeah, so pretty. It is pretty. And then there's these dots. I know they have a special name, but I can't remember what they are. And these are um, like shadows, right? Yeah, there's some shading. Yeah, they're just it's just a very very striking line. And this again is by Northcott, and it is sixteen a yard. Right. Before we transition into the next one, I have a panel here that is really pretty with some fabrics that go with it. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's kind of like she sheds potentially that they people have decorated. Or like it could be your little potting shed, like your little yep. gardener shed. Yeah. And then you've decorated cute. them. Yeah, it's really nice. Or little tiny houses. Mm -hmm. That's all I the don't I, these days. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And that goes part of that line called Holiday Happy Place. And there's a nice plaid. And here, because there's so many other coordinates mm -hmm. and greens and things that we have. And then here's this fun little border print that goes with it. I like the little bikes on it and the wheelbarrow. Yeah. Yeah. And these are 16, and I expect the panel's probably 16. And it, what uh, company is that? Timeless Treasures? Um, I'm thinking Wilmington, but let's just see. Or Henry, Henry Glass. Glass. Henry, Glass. Henry Glass. He always does nice things. Or that company does. Mm -hmm. okay. And then maybe you should talk about the one behind us before we change seasons. Oh, so right. Quickly. Yes. So the quilt behind us is Snow Sweet, Sweet Snow Along. Boy, that was hard. It's 155. And the size of this one is 66 by 75. So it's a nice big quilt. And you still have time to get it done before Christmas. And there's not too many left. There's only a few There's left. only a handful of these left. And you know, it doesn't scream Christmas, but you know. Well, you can it's see a nice winter quilt. It says snow on the bottom and then, you know, the snow man right there, the star. Yeah, it's like a winter season quilt, I would say. Kind of touches on all the bases. It does. It does. All right. And then the, we did that one already. We did the diagonal thing? Yeah, we did. Where was but, I? 
you were did here, it. but you can talk about it again. No, it's okay. Like. <laughs> oh my gosh, I missed it. You did. I was, I was, and I was here. I haven't left. You, you were the one to talk about it. Not the diagonal tape. I Absolutely. Did not. No way. Here we are going to re- just talk about it again. We're going to rewind it because I did not here, talk, talk about, about it, Cynthia. Anyway, this is this. Our quilters just love this. <laughs> Because you've got your quarter inch and you can do your diagonals on it. And you know what? You guys are just... And how much is it? Ten fifty. But I did not. We're going to rewind this because I did not. And people there will say, I hey, did not talk about it. Vouch for me. We did do this already earlier today, right? Not. I didn't do it. Maybe you did it. But I didn't do it and I missed it. Look, Michelle says you did, Cynthia. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to go back. I. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, what's happening? We okay. can't skip a week because we get all flustered, apparently. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. You did. See? Yes. She did talk about the tape. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. Let's move on, then. <laughs> I think so. So, we love purple widebacks in this store for some reason. So, we brought this one back in. I think we've had this one before. It it's always beautiful. very popular. And it, it, it looks more blue on your screen, but it's not. It's like a nice yeah. purple with some magenta Here, in it. If you hold it up a little bit on this Here. screen, is it better? There yeah, we go. Yeah, that's a more accurate color depiction. Yes, I have had a coffee, and no, I wasn't drinking wine. <laughs> and there's nothing in my coffee, girls. Like, no, just everybody's picking on me now. Well, we don't know what's in there. We didn't see you pour it, so. Yes, you did. <laughs> Rewind that too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next season. We'll just rotate through the seasons. So Northcott has done this beautiful line and it's called Morning Blossom. So it can be in the season. So this is a bag panel that they've done. And everything is on the panel to do your bag. We decided to do our sample with some basil in it so it had a little more body to it's it. It's got all the directions here. Yeah, all the instructions. And the pocket where you can put your name on it. This bag belongs yep. to. And so maybe you should show And the this bag is a like a better. home deck weight. So Arlene made this one. And what I like is that like, she's got the nice pocket in here. But we decided to line it too. So it looks really nice. Nice job. Mm -hmm. It's nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. So the yardage that goes with it is this, with the writing. Yeah, for some reason all of a sudden our lighting's changed. Yeah. Ooh, what happened? I don't know. Nothing, but something. So there's the big floral print. It's better if I pull it back here. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So something over there. And then there's that, more of a red background. Not red. And, and what are these flowers, are we? Those are the spider, spider moms, moms again, yes. yeah. They throw us off every time. But they're so beautiful. <laughs> I like them. Well, it says on their dahlias and whatnot, so that is very pretty. And then you have to have a green. That's our nice green. To bring out all the green in that. And then that one is very happy, too. With all the yellows the gold. Mm -hmm. Kind of happy like, like us this morning. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Louisa's stunning one block wonder fabrics. You know, Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, they would be. Good well, there's your next project, Louise, since you're an expert. I really like this one too, though, with the words. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Well, I think we've made it through everything, right? I think it's uh, door prize time. <laughs> Maybe we better get off air before it all goes crazy. All right, let's do the panel first. Uh, Barbara Marie. Barbara Marie. Congratulations. Congratulations. Do the eight back corners. Kelly Thomas. Congratulations, Kelly. And then the water clothes. Kathy Jenner. Kathy Jenner, congratulations. So you can let me know if you're gonna pick it up or if you need it mailed. I'm looking at some of the comments here, girls. Oh my. Okay, Leanne. Aren't you supposed to be in class? <laughs> well, we appreciate you watching and putting up with our shenanigans today. 
Thank you. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week, and hopefully we'll see you in the store soon. All right. Enjoy the sunshine today if you have it.